Hi and welcome to Code It's Time. This is the second part of how to build a job board using Django and Vue. In the previous part we installed the software we needed, created a Django project and made some simple templates. Now it's time to make it possible to sign up, log in and log out. Let's begin with the sign up functionality. We created a sign up view and a template in the previous part, so now it's time to create the form. Django has some built in functionality for this I'm going to use. So inside the views.py file inside the core app I'm going to import something called the user creation form. So at the top here I say from django.contrib.auth.forms import user creation form. And then inside the sign up view I create an instance of this form by saying form equals user creation form like that. And then I need to pass it in here so I can access it in the front end. So I create a dictionary and paste form like that and then this is a reference to this. So now I can use this inside the template. Okay, let's go to the template to show the form. I can remove this and create a form tag. Form method post action can just be a dot with which is the same page we are on. The first line inside the form in Django is a CSRF token. CSRF stands for cross site request forgery. This is built in security to prevent XSS attacks. To show the actual forms or the fields, we just write form.sp, it stands for S paragraph. And then we add a button, div class field, div class button, no, div class control, button class button is success, sign up and save. So now I can go to the browser to test this. If you click sign up, you will see this form. It doesn't look very pretty, but that's not the most important thing right now. We can come back to the design later. It won't work yet because I need to do some more changes inside the sign up view. I need to check if someone clicked the sign up button. To do this I say if request.method equals post and if not I can add the form like this but if it is a post request we say form and same and then we just pass in the request.post so all of the data inside the request post will just be sent to this so then we can see if form is valid Django checks this that the form is valid that the user don't exist from before and similar and if it is we can just say form.save we can assign this to a variable called user and then we can log in the user login request user so now I need to import this function and I do this up here from django.contrib.auth import login and say this is a function from Django that logs in and authenticates the user and when the user is created we can redirect him to the front page return redirect front page I need to import this as well. This is a shortcut from Django and save. As you can see here, I can just use the name front page. This will refer to this one and Django will now redirect us there. So we can save this now and test it. Just refresh code with Stein. Sign up. No, such table auth user. Okay, yes, I have forgotten to initialize the database. To do this, I go to the command line and stop the server. Then I run Python 
manage.py make migrations. This will generate files for Django so that it knows which fields to create inside the database and similar. And then we run the actual migration by saying python manage.py migrate. Then we can run the server again. Just refresh. Create the user again. And now we was redirected back to the front page, which means it should be working. So what I want to do now is to check that inside here that we actual, actually are logged in. So inside base.html, inside this div buttons, I can say if request.user is authenticated, else I want to show the sign up button if we are not authenticated. Refresh. Okay, so it disappeared, which means we are authenticated. And in, if we are authenticated, I want to make it possible to sign out or log out. Class button is danger. Log out. I will create this in two seconds because if I just save now and refresh, you will see it to get a reverse logout not found. To fix this, you can go into urls.py because Django has built in functionality for this I'm going to use. So on the top here, I can say from Django.contrib.auth import views. So you're just going to use a built-in view for this. And then below the sign up, I say path, log out, and then here is the views, which is a reference to this. Log out view dot s view. So Django will just generate this automatically. Name, log out, and save. So if I refresh now, okay, path, I wrote it wrong. Refresh. So now I can click this and it will be logged out. This is Django's default place to be logged out and I can change this by going into settings.py and setting logout redirect URL. You just want to be sent to the front page again then and save. We can also set the login URL to login. This is where you will be redirected if you try to access a page you don't have access to. And login redirect URL equals front page. This is the page you will be redirected to when you log in. I want to change this later to my account or similar, but it should work for now. So then I can create this login page as well. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. I want to use Django view for this as well. So below here, I can just say path, login, views, dot login, view, s, view. And here I want to specify the template name by saying template name equals core login dot html name login. So now we just use this Django default view for this, but we want to use our own template. I can copy the sign up.html because it's going to look similar. Create a new file inside the core folder, login.html and paste. Just to replace the sign up with login and the same down here. We get the form from this view automatically as well, so this can just be like it is. You can just save this. And then the last thing we need to do is to create a new button inside here. A H E R F URL login class button is in you no know, light, so it's just light gray. 
log in and save. So now we can do this and now we have a new login button up here. If I click it, you will see the default login form and then I can log in with the user I created. And then I was redirected back to the front page and the logout page is up there now. Now the link to the logout is up there. And that was it for the second part of this series. If you liked it, please click like below and share it with your friends. If you want notification when the next part is published, you need to subscribe and remember to click the bell as well. See you next time.